Hello doers, my name is Jose Ignacio and welcome back. Ready to put that cherry on top of your Odoo VOIP skill Sunday? Let's go. Alright, so a call queue is a system that organizes and routes incoming calls. When your customers call your business and all your agents are busy, they can line up in a call queue. And then they can wait to be connected to the next available agent. Now having a system in place reduces stress for your agents. It also helps build brand trust with your customers. Here at Stealthywood, we use call queues to help set up expectations for customers so that we can distribute the workload evenly amongst our team and lower our call abandonment rate. I'm going to be showing you how to configure everything through a provider called Axavox, for example. But as I've said it before, your screen may look different depending on another provider if you choose someone else. So enough chit chat. Let's hop right in. So here I am in the Axavox admin portal and we're going to make our way over to queues. This will show us a list of our already created queues but I want to make one for a support team. So I'm going to click add a queue in the top left and we're going to give it a name. This one's going to be called customer support. Love supporting those customers. And underneath that, you'll find internal extension. Now here I can choose an extension that members of our internal network can dial to ring the queue line or use to transfer callers to this queue. We're going to give it a nice number to make it easy to remember. Uh, four fours, because that's a very nice number. Now underneath strategy, I can decide how I want to route the calls to my different agents. I'm going to show you each one of these. So call all available agents will call everyone at once. And then the next one is call the agents who haven't received the call for the longest time. And this will choose the agent on your team who has gone the longest without receiving any calls. And following that, we have call the agent who has received the least calls, which will direct the call to the agent that has received the lowest number of calls. And below that, we have call a random agent, which will choose one of the agents at random. And following that, Call the agents one after the other, which will call agents in a sequence until one of them picks up. And in my case, we're going to pick call all available agents just because I like that. Now, beneath that, we also have the maximum waiting time, which is the longest time your customer will wait in the queue before going to a voicemail or wherever else you direct them to inside of your dial plan. Now, for more info on dial plans, be sure to check out our videos when they're up on dial plans. Right now, it's 3,600 seconds right now, which is one hour for my math guys out there and girls. So I'm going to leave it at that because 3600 is a nice number. But if anyone wants to wait on hold for more than an hour, I really truly commend you. Now beneath that is the maximum duration of ringing to an agent. And that is the longest time an individual agent's line will ring before moving on to another agent in the next step in your dial plan. I actually want it to ring for a minute and a half. So instead of 60, we're going to type in 90 because this reads in seconds. Now finally, what do we have down here? We have well, we need to add in the agents who are part of the queue. If I add static agents, these people will always be added to the queue automatically. If I add dynamic agents, they need to log in and out of the queue. I want my agents to log in and out. So I'm going to add them overneath or actually down here as different types of dynamic agents. So we're going to have Jose, our first one. And it does this really cool thing where it starts finding them right there. And then we're also going to have there. Three is a nice number. Then I'm going to hit save. And once it's done saving there, we're going to apply our changes up at the top. Great. Now my customer support queue is all set up. Now you'll notice underneath agent connection column, which we have over here, there is a very nice number there. I can see the number that agents can dial to connect to the queue. Underneath agent disconnection that we have over here, I can actually see the numbers that they can dial to be disconnected from the queue. Now, when an agent are connected to the queue or are live with a the customer, they're actually going to show up here under connected agents right there. And we can even refresh it if we want to whenever just to see that if they are static agents, they will always show up as connected. I can also manually connect an agent by clicking on the orange connect an agent button that we have over here on the right side. And then afterwards, I'm going to select someone and hit connect. So I'm going to show you that. So let's assume, whoops, oh, doopsie, wrong team. We're going to connect, in our case, Stefan, because I like messing with him. Boom, he's connected now. And you'll notice that if I hit report, something cool happens here. If I click on report, I can actually check on the reporting for this particular queue to see who connected when and what phone calls came in and out, just in case if I want to see that again. Let's go back over again over here. All right, so finally we're all done, and it's time to put a bow on this one. Now we're going to go on over to our Odoo dashboard so I can show you something else. So back over here, we're going to open up our VOIP widget and we're going to open up that dial pad. All right. 
Now let's pretend that I'm a support agent in this queue and I want to connect to it. So I'm going to choose the keypad that I already did and I need to type in our connection number from the Axovox portal that you saw and then I'm going to dial directly to it. Then once that I'm done there, I'm going to hear a one second message letting me know that I'm logged in before the call automatically ends. Now if we go back over there, I could show you what happened right away. So now back over here on the queues page on the Axovox portal, if I hit the green refresh button, would you look at that right there? Jose is logged in as a connected agent. And I can actually disconnect the same way by typing in that agent disconnection number back into the database inside of my widget and then hitting the call button. Then I'm no longer going to be connected to this queue. Or I could also just hit that disconnect real quick and it'll disconnect me on this side. And that does it, oh doers. That's it for the video on call queues. If you missed any of the videos inside of this VoIP series, be sure to go back and check them out to fill in the gaps. Thanks for watching. Go grab a snack.